This was a weird coaching situation, coaching change at UConn. Randy Edsel announced on Sunday that he was stepping down at the end of the season. Now, he is 6-32 and 32 since he got back to UConn. He left UConn and went to Maryland to coach for a little while, got fired from there, and was brought back in at UConn, and since then has, has not performed very well. But I don't believe that it's all on him. But then on Monday, on Monday, the school just announces, you know what, never mind, he's stepping down immediately. Like, we're, we're not going to just wait until the end of the season to get this done. We're just going to go ahead and rip off the Band-Aid. Lou, Sp- it's not Spanos, I forget the guy's name. He's going to be the interim head coach. He's the defensive coordinator. This is... I think it is Spanos. Is it Spanos? Okay. Yeah, I'm so, almost positive it is. So that situation is strange to me because why would he announce on Sunday that he is stepping down effective at the end of the season and then the school comes out and says, nah, nah, we, we want you to go ahead and go. I, I, this, is a, this is a university that does not care about their football program. This is a football, not a football program, but a, a university that is still living in the late 80s and, and early 90s when the Big East basketball brands were the ones that were bringing in the money. Everything has shifted since then. It's not the same anymore. If you want to have a big-time football program, you can do that. And it doesn't even have to be that big-time for you to actually make money off of the product. I don't understand what is going on with this coaching change. I don't understand what they're trying to do because, remember, they were in the AAC and left, leaving their football program no conference. I I don't know what they're trying to do. I don't know who would take the job. I have no idea what's going on. Do you have any thoughts on this? Well, yeah, and I think I understand what the administration is doing. So I disagree on the fact that they don't care. Just like two years ago, they spent a shitload of money for UConn. Now, not for Alabama and Clemson and LSU, but for UConn on updating their football facilities and updating their locker room. And things like that. You don't spend that much money on your locker room if you don't care about football. There's, no, there's nobody making you do that. True. You do that because you do care and you want to be good. All right? So... So I take umbrage with that. I think they do care. I just don't think they're good, and that's different. All right, here's what I think. I think Ramsey Edsel realized after that game Saturday that he was going to be fired, and he wanted to get the rest of the season out of the way. And so I think he believed if I come out and I say I'm going to leave at the end of the year, they'll let me finish the year. That's what I believe happened. And people in the athletic department said, no, you don't get to make any athletic decisions anymore. No, you're, we're, not, we're not doing this rest of the year shit. You're out. You're out now. I think they didn't like him coming out and kind of forcing their hand. Maybe if he would have called them and told them he wanted to retire and, and they spoke about it, maybe they could have had a cordial you know, pardon of the ways. But, but I think this was him trying to make sure he got the rest of the year because he saw the writing on the wall and he didn't think he was going to be fired. He didn't want, he didn't want to be embarrassed and fired in the middle of the season. I think that's yeah. what happened. And I think this school does care enough to where they said, no, we're not waiting until the end of the year, sir. I don't care what you've done for us in the past. I don't care how long you've been around. You're out of here. There's the door. Get your shit. It, it did. I mean, it was embarrassing. I mean, they lost by double digits to Holy Cross on Saturday. Yeah. But I also don't know what to expect from a football program that did not play for two years, you know? So I, I I wonder how much of that is administration's decision, how much of that was coaching's decision. I don't know the answer to any of those I things. don't either. I don't either, but it is strange. So UConn, not exactly a, a big football topic on the show, usually, but they let us off today. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.